All right then, so things are looking pretty swanky so far. We've got a lot of the functionality sorted out. We can sign up, log in, post articles, and all that jazz. But there's one thing bothering me at the minute, and that is I always see this logout button at the top, and that appears there whether I'm logged in or logged out. Now, really, we should be showing some kind of dynamic information there depending on whether we are logged in or whether we're logged out. So if we're logged in, we should see this logout button and also maybe a button to create a new article. So that's if we're logged in. If we're logged out, we shouldn't see those two things. And instead, we should maybe see a login button and a sign up button. So in order to do that, we need a way in Django in our templates to detect whether a user is either logged in or logged out so that then we can show them different content dependent on that state. So I guess what you could say is that we need to detect whether our user is authenticated. And we can do that pretty easily in Django, much like we can do a lot of other things pretty easily in Django. So right now, I've opened up the root templates folder and I'm in base layout. So this is the base layout that is shown on every single page. And in here we have the header and inside the header, the H1, which is the logo. This thing over here, that's fine. That can show to everyone. And then below that, we have this nav. And inside the nav, at the minute, we just have this one li tag. And this li tag is for the form to log in. Now, that is being shown to everyone at the minute. We don't want to show it to everyone. We only want to show it to people who are logged in or people who are authenticated. So the way we can do this in Django, the way we can detect if someone is authenticated and show them different content is by doing our template tags and then a little if statement to check if they're authenticated. Now, we have access to the user object inside our template and we can use dot is underscore authenticated to check whether this user is actually authenticated. And if they are, then it will output this code. If they're not, we can do an else statement down here after the code and then they'll output something else. So else, and then down here, we can do some other code. So if they're not logged in, it shows this, right? And then finally, we need to end. So now if a user is authenticated, it's going to show this code right here, the logout button. If they're not authenticated, if they're not logged out, it's going to show whatever's inside this bit here. So inside this bit, we'd like to output a different LI and this LI is going to be a login button. So let's open up a, a tag and set that equal to a URL. So we'll do our template tags. And inside here, we'll say URL is going to be the login URL, which is in the accounts app. Then it's login. All right, so this is going to be the login link. So we'll call it login and close the A tag. Now I'm just going to copy that into the next line and change this to sign up and this to sign up as well. So then if they're not logged in, we'll see these two LI tags. If they are logged in, we'll see this LI tag. Okay, so let's save that and see what it looks like in a browser. Just refresh over here. And I'm obviously logged in because I can see this button right here. So if I log out now, it's replaced by these two buttons, log in and sign up. So if I log in again, then now we see the logout button again. That's pretty cool, right? So we're easily detecting here if a user is logged in and showing them content dependent on that state. So if they are logged in, as well as this logout button, I also want to show them a button for creating some kind of new article. So let's do one more li tag down here, another a tag as well. And that is going to be equal to our URL here. And this URL is going to go to the accounts or not the accounts, the articles up. And then it was create to create a new article. So inside here, we can say create or rather just a new article. Like so. Save that. And if we view it in a browser again, now we can see this button right here, new article. So if we click on this, then we get the new article page. Again, a logout. And now we can't see that new article button. Instead, we just see these two things. Pretty cool, right? So this is how we can dynamically show different things dependent on that state. One last thing, I'm going to give this a little class equal to highlight. This is just so we can style it differently from the other buttons later on when we come to style things up.